So I went to Hobby Lobby and lo and behold, I get there and the internet rumor is true. Liquitex heavy body paints are like severely reduced. Uh, I think 70, I haven't done the math a lot, reduced a lot. So I got several colors and I decided I would try a pour. I've used each of these as a two ounce tube and I've used all of them. And it's six colors. So I've got two transparents, a quinoquidone red and a Van Dyke red. And then I've got iridescent copper. These are the opaques, these four. Iridescent copper, uh, cobalt teal, a portrait pink, and iridescent gold. So I had to experiment. I've never used these paints in terms of how much uh, pouring medium to put in there. And what it ended up being is a ratio of one to one to one. So I had two ounces of paint, two ounces of pouring medium, and two ounces of watered down pouring medium. But I call a thinning solution, which is about, I mix it in big jugs. Um, it's about a, a quarter pouring medium and then three quarters water. So, but you can see here it's, it's the consistency of water, but with pouring medium in there. So, so it was two ounces of paint, two ounces of pouring medium, two ounces of thinning solution. And we will see if it works in a good old fashioned flip cup because that's what I am most used to doing. And I thought that would be the most fair comparison. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little canvas at first. And then I might do a bigger canvas or another little canvas. So get that set up and I'll be right back. And I'm going to layer them in there remembering, you know, being aware of what's transparent and what's opaque. I'm not going to, I don't think I need this whole cup. I don't know. Those are transparent. Cats are doing things. pink because I never use pink so why not I'm gonna do one drop of silicone here I'm gonna drop a transparent down through it Oop. and then layer it now we're back to blue That cobalt is just stunning. Kind of lumpy there. I got lumps. Well, I'll have plenty to do another paint, another uh, 10 inch, which I have another 10 inch, so that's good. Oh. I always take it across like this because I want to add some kind of interest across these big color fields. Oh my goodness gracious. Is there a glare? Oh boy. 
Well, at least that part's beautiful. Hello, beautiful cells. You worked. <laughs> Man, when I was starting off, if it an experiment had worked like that, you know, with a brand I hadn't tried, I'd be so happy. I'm still so happy. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think the color combo worked. All right. So I just want to show this something to you. Spider monkey. Hey, baby. Snap hammer. I'm going to stretch it. There is plenty of paint on here. I do the, I kind of wet down the corners a little bit as I go, um, so it'll slide. A lot of people do the, wet the whole canvas, get the whole, uh, put a primer layer down on everything which is a good idea but this works also okay. very pretty taking it back to the center I noticed Christina Welch does this she, I do it too I, I, uh, I tilt and then I take it to back to the center because I helps keep those cells um, form because sometimes it it can get really kind of a uh, funny look at the cells okay. and back to center You probably couldn't see half of that because it was tilted the other way from the camera. But um, all right, that is a very pretty little little painting. Some colors I've never used, which makes me happy. So you can see that iridescent. That is very pretty. All right. Starting with pink this time because that is really pretty stuff. Um, gonna come in with this transparent, beautiful brown. Van Dyke Red, rather. Um, and do blue. I did it from a little bit up high so that it um, will mix. Red. Also from up high. That was gold, and I said red. I'm going to do a drop of silicone. Oops, that was two. And then some more pink. Bronze, some 
dois. A little bit more gold. Ooh, <laughs> hello. And some more pink because pink and see how much paint did I have left over. Okay, I think we're we're gonna have a little red. Okay. And that will leave enough for another thing or two. I'll use this to wet the corner. I've got all this paint I can use to slick up the corners. All right. That's pretty. I always do sound effects on the opening of the flipping of the cup. Where's my torch? Hello? There you are. You can tell it's that pink's going to have some nice, hopefully, cell action. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Gotta warm the paint up. This paint is beautiful, I will say that. Okay. So. That just kind of moves more fluidly. Center now down. The other one's a little more pink, or the, the other one's more blue, and this one is more pink. And I think they are a very good, they're going to be a very good pair for sure. Um, I took the other one out in the garage, so uh, I'll take a picture of them together and put it in the video. I don't think I can wait until these dry to post the video because I'm wanting to get this posted while the sale is still going on on Hobby Lobby. As I think this is uh, store-wide. I think this is... Um, multiple stores that have this Liquitex on sale. So. And that won't last long. And it's a uh, beautiful paint to work with. And it's kind of like treating yourself like to a spa day or something. Mm. 
not that I've ever had a spa day, but I would, I think. I just, there are, well, no, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> there are so many things that I want to do. Spa day is not up there. <laughs> paint, paint is up there. Golden fluid acrylics before spa out every day of the week. Iridescent's pretty. All right. Well, that'll do it. And uh, hope y'all uh, having a good week. And hope you get an opportunity to enjoy this uh, these paints. So, anyway. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and say hi in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Um, I am going to start putting out weekly videos and I would love to have you as a subscriber. <laughs>